Welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about another load function feature, which is promise unwrapping. To help us understand what it is, I've set up some code. Let me walk you through what I have here. Our theme for this video is stocks. In db.json, which is our JSON server, I've added three new entries. Most active stock, top gaining stock, and top losing stock. Each stock has a symbol and an associated price. Stock A at 350 approximately, stock B at 50, and stock C priced at 100. The goal is to build a page where a user can see this data in the user interface. To achieve that goal, I've created a new route called stocks. I've created a page.js file, which contains a load function. The load function fetches the data by making three separate API calls. One to most active stock, one to top gaining stock, and one to top losing stock. We await fetch and get back the response. Once we have the individual response, we await response.json, which returns a promise as well. Finally, we return the three stocks as data that should be loaded into the corresponding page.svelte file. In page.svelte, we use the data property which refers to the page data and display the most active stock, top gaining stock, and top losing stock symbol. I've also added a bit of styling for each span tag. If we head to the browser and navigate to slash stocks, you should see the three stocks being displayed. Now everything works fine, but there is room for improvement. Back in our load function, you can see we await response.json one after the other. Now this creates a waterfall where we wait for each promise to resolve before resolving the next. To optimize this behavior, we can specify this as part of the return statement without the await keyword. So most active stock, is going to be most active stock response.json. Similarly, top gaining stock response.json and top losing stock response.json. In doing this, SwellKit will take the responsibility of resolving the promises in parallel rather than one after the other. A slight improvement in performance, but one that is very easy to incorporate. Refresh, and the page still works as expected. Now, please be aware that SwellKit will only resolve top level promises. If you were to have another stock, which is an object, and nested stock being the property which resolves response.json. This will not work like the other three. It has to be a top level promise. So a quick one about promise unwrapping in load functions. A simple yet very useful feature to incorporate into your code base. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.